What's going on, you bunch of toad lickers? It's Nick Daniels here, coming at you live, man, yet again. And uh, today, man, we're just uh, we're just sitting in the in the pad, and uh, we figured we'd make a quick video here about uh, Resident Evil. Um, I don't know, I don't know what Return to Raccoon City, I believe it's called. Um, <laughs> just watched this last night. Pretty awful movie. Going to be a quick review here, but uh, basically, spoilers, you name it, we're we're going in. Um, so anyway, so what happened was I uh, yeah I got talked into checking out this movie, man, and yeah it was really bad it was it was hideous now there was a couple of things about it that weren't really too bad or like were like um a, a good homage to you know to the movies beforehand right so like uh or, or to the game sorry and you know they did that but um man i i got some points here that i'd like to just kind of go through and i'm telling you they they ruined them um, so the first thing I'm just gonna say right off the bat, man, is the characters just suck. Um, so they actually introduce, like, pretty much a lot of the main characters, and they leave out a few. So, like, Wesker's involved, uh, you know, Chris, you know, Claire's there, Jill's there, um, there was, like, some ran- there was a couple randoms, you know, there was a couple, like, like, NPCs that would have been in there, um, like, the police, I don't even know what you call them, like, the chief, I guess, like that. You know, um, you know, in the beginning of like two, there's the guy like eating the sandwich in the big truck that crashes. Like, you know, a couple oddballs like that um, that obviously just just die immediately, right? They got they got no point in the film. Um, but yeah, so they they, they had the characters, and just none of them I really felt anything from. Like Chris, I I will admit, I think Chris, like if you were to relate it to the game, Chris would be the most like believable. Like I would kind of get that. Claire, yeah, okay, like Claire would be like the second. You know, she'd be kind of close, but, like, I don't know. If you look at it from just, like, okay, it's its own movie, and, like, you got no idea what's going on, you're not familiar with Resident Evil, and you're just watching it, I still think those two were kind of the more believable, um, and that everybody else was just, like, just, an, like, either annoying or just, like, stupid or, you know, whatever. Um, like, Wesker betrays them for, like, money and hears it from, like, Ada, which, by the way, is shown in, like, she's shown in, like, an Ed credit scene. Um, and it, it looks stupid. Um, and he's even got, like, the shades on and everything. Like, again, I, I heard a review, and I was listening to one review, and they said it would be funny if it was, like, B-rated funny. You know what I mean? Like, they were just way over the top funny, and, like, but, like, bad, right? Like, way over the top bad funny. It would have been funny. Um, I did laugh at this movie, but for the wrong reasons. Um, yeah, so I put, like, like, Leon and the characters, I think, are kind of miscast. Um... Leon looks like Carlos. Like, he doesn't look like Leon. Go look at the trailer. He's not Leon. That isn't Leon. Um, it's just funny that, like, he just didn't look like what he was supposed to. He's really dumb in the, almost the entire movie. He almost does nothing the entire film except just basically be dumb. And it was just really infuriating because, like, knowing the character, from the games at least, uh, he's actually, like, you know, formidable and decent and intelligent and, you know, and maybe he wasn't up to snuff right away in, in the first outbreak, um, you know, that he had experienced, but, you know, he quickly got up to speed. Um, like, the movie itself, um, for, like, plot, um, was just not that good, man. It clearly tries to take on, like, the first and second game, and I think they just crammed in way too much into about an hour and 50 minutes, uh, minus commercials, or, the, like, the advertisements in the beginning, the trailers, and, like, the police chief kills a guy, uh, that's on fire at one point in the movie and just doesn't even question it or anything there's no comment to it and it was just really confusing to me that that they did that because you know in an ordinary city you know you don't think that would happen so the only thing i could think of was that maybe he did that because he already knew what was going on it just eluded me why he just took that guy out um the truck that i mentioned in the beginning it it, it crashes and explodes right in front of the police station with the door wide open and leon's just playing music on like a walkman and can't hear it doesn't notice it whatever because i guess he was like snoo snoozing and like i'm just again like i was just watching that like an utter disbelief that like he just wouldn't wake up um weird um, so like I said, there, there was a lot of stupid jokes, mainly by Leon, actually, uh, but Jill even makes one in the beginning where she, she's eating a sandwich and calls it a Jill sandwich. It was like one of the, like, like, it was so forced, you know, on a lot of these. Like, I, I did genuinely try to go in and like the movie. I didn't expect it to be good, 
but I expect that, like, I hope to like it, because, I mean, I paid for it, um, and I'm telling you, the jokes just ruin it for me. I like the idea, like, I'm not a horror movie fan, but I like the idea that they were gonna go that kind of route, like, spookier, scarier kind of thing, because I think that would have worked out for them, and I'll tell you, the one part of the movie that even remotely looked to me like something decent was inside the mansion. You know, because you had zombies coming out in the dark, you know, like they literally posed a big threat. Um, you know, uh, a good point here that I have down later I was going to talk about, but is the city just being like a ghost town. So I was kind of surprised when you see so many zombies in this mansion. Um, you know, um, the mansion itself that wasn't necessarily, I don't think it was done that well. Um, you don't even see the guys reloading. They're just spamming shots and it's like, I, I'm just shocked that like no one's like, there was like a couple reloads in the whole movie. Um, so again, just kind of, a couple things are a little bit, uh, a little bit sus, as you could call them. Um, like, cheap jump scares in, in the, in, in the mansion, too. Like, it'd be, like, all dark, and the zombie would be like, Bleh! and it's like, they never heard it running down the stairs or anything, or freaking out, and as soon as it gets into, it, it, it it's so annoying, man. Like, it's not even really much of a jump scare, because it just constantly happened. It was getting really annoying. Um... Yeah, the CGI looked really bad. Sorry, I just I have my notes here. Just easier to remember exactly what I need to say because I'm gonna forget about this movie right after we do. Well, I talk about this. Um, yeah, no, the CGI looked awful, man. Down on a couple things like the explosions and stuff. It looked like something like you'd use for free. You know what I mean? Like you just Google. Um, there's even like the dog doesn't look really good either. There's like one dog, one dog, one liquor, and like I would call him like I guess it'd be like the tyrant at the end. Um, which, by the way, Leon's only moment at the end is on the train at, on, that, um, at the end, uh, which I have points about this, but he runs in with a rocket launcher, Chris is, like, two feet from the thing, and just shoots at it, and, like, nobody gets hurt. In an enclosed space in a train, I just, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, and like I said, Wesker lives, uh, he makes it out of there. I, I don't know, I, I, Wesker was more of, like, a jokey character, I'm, I'm not buying it. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Um, yeah, so, I mean, like, yeah, there's a character, I don't even know what the character's name is, I think it's a girl, but uh, in, in the beginning of the movie, that you see that Claire, Claire and Chris are in an orphanage, and I think, like, Claire escaped and just never went back for Chris, which I think is hilarious, um, and there was, like, some, one of her, like, some person. I don't have to assume it was a person. I don't actually know this. I didn't really play the first and second games. I played them like barely, right? Um, same as like third and all the weird ones. I kind of started at four and I played around a bit. I did play two briefly on the N64, uh, but not enough to like get into it. Um, so I didn't know who this person was, but uh, you see him in the trailer and they've got like skin or something over their face and they're like briefly shown a bit and then nothing more really into it. Um, now, at the end of the movie, like, it's supposed, supposedly, they, like, destroy the city, um, and you don't, I can't even, I never told, I could never tell what happened, like, did, did it get nuked, did, you know, did it get bombed by a missile, I have no idea, and it was super frustrating, because I had questions, and I was like, dude, I would love to know what's going on here, but I just, it, it's, it's not, the information's not provided, um, like, there's more I could say about the movie, but I think I've got the gist of it down, I kind of want to wrap this up before nine minutes here, um, honestly, like, you know, if you want, like, just a really cheesy action jump scare movie, like, I, I wouldn't even call them jump scares. Like, it's not a horror. I guess it's supposed to be, like, a horror movie. It's just, like, yeah, like, something slightly spooky um, that most people won't even... I, I mean, I don't even watch horror, and I don't like horror movies, and I didn't find it scary. It was just, like, it was more annoying. Um, then check this out. Yeah, if you if you just want something you can have a good laugh at. It was definitely not something I'd ever take seriously, and especially if you're a fan of the games, there are nods to the games, which is respectful, commendable. Um, but the overall movie, to me, just fell short, um, you know, and it's exactly what I thought was going to happen with it. A lot of times, these video game movies do not go well, uh, and by a lot of times, I mean almost all of them. The only, like, I didn't mind the first Resident Evil movie, the, like, the, the one they did ages ago with whoever, Jodovich, or whatever the fuck her name, Fudge is, or her name is, um, but the reason why I liked it is because, like, it did its own thing, but it still kind of kept it to the Resident Evil, right? There was still that relations to it, um, like, even in this movie, they got, like, Sherry Birkin, which, like, really showed no point of her even being there, 
um and they, they he like they take out like the parents and stuff like that and it's just like whatever like the best scene in the movie in my opinion was a few people trying to leave the city and then the police like the umbrella corporation just gunning them down in the street and for some reason a guy was still trying to get in, in the cop's car after he was getting like gunned at by the by the umbrella corporation um and they had a lot of propaganda too for umbrella which i thought was kind of cool i like that um I don't know. Overall, like, I can't say I really hate... I, I said I was going to be done in nine minutes. It's ten now. Overall, I didn't hate the movie. I, uh, well, I disliked it quite a bit. But, I mean, yeah, for what it was, it was pretty crap. But, I mean, it was just pretty funny. A pretty shit movie. So, I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. Check it out. Uh, Resident Evil. Return to Raccoon City. Peace.